this next song is called Little Things, and uh, it's another one of my newer ones I've written. But I think we're ready to go.
Welcome back to another season of PCN Life. And of course, with the new season, we have a brand new lineup of artists for our live arts and entertainment segment. I am Maureen Bates, and tonight we have on Abby Vale. It's so good to have you back. Thank you so much for having us. So we had you on last June, mm -hmm. and I had asked you a little bit about your songwriting and, and how it's sort of formed in your life. And you said, you know, as a teenager, it's a great way to channel my, my feelings and you know, how I felt about life. So you're a little mm -hmm. bit older now, and yeah. from what I hear, you know, your music has matured. Can you just tell me, what are you writing about now? Um, I'm writing more about, uh, less about relationships, because I found that, you know, when your relationship, your love life isn't as rocky, then you don't actually get um, inspired very much to write songs about your relationship and your love life just because things are going so well and so smooth. Yeah. And there's Pain not writes that. great love songs, right? <laughs> right, right. And there's none of that because, you know, that whole part of my life has really settled very nicely. Nice. And um, right now, kind of the big thing for me is trying to just, you know, orient myself. I'm 23 years old, so I feel this, you know, every, what every 23-year-old feels is that pressure of, you know, what are you going to do? You know, what's your next move and all of that. Yeah. And I was thinking about, you know, while I'm under all the stress, I'm starting to write songs that are kind of reflecting, you know, this kind of mantra I'm trying to keep in my own head um, of, you know, you don't have to worry about it. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Things are, things all work out in the end. So, so sort of that transitional, like I'm a millennial and what's the next step in my life kind of feel. Kinda. I think it's yeah. I think it's whatever you, whatever young person goes through when they're trying to figure yeah. out, you know, because you know everyone's asking you what are you doing, you know, where are you going, all this stuff, and you you fi you find this incredible pressure because then all of a sudden when you get bombarded with those questions all the time, you start asking yourself those questions all the time, and you know that's a lot of that's a lot of stress, and I know all my my friends are going through the same thing, and you know it's um and so hearing everyone and you know listening to my mom saying, you know, it's going to be okay. <laughs> so moms are for. Right. Yeah. It's, it's really kind of driven this new kind of style of songs where the content's more about bigger ideas and, you know, the, the bigger picture things. Not so much, you know, I'm dating this guy. He's, he broke my heart sort of stuff. Right, so. right. So on top of which, I mean, I can see you're, you're gigging out a lot more. You're really... Mm -hmm. establishing yourself. I see your name opening for people at the Spire and you're playing these intimate shows at Bram Halls. So tell me what, what that's like. What are, you, what are you learning? What are the challenges? What do you love about it? Oh, I, I'm loving it for sure. I, you know, it kind of just all happened all out of the blue. One minute it was normal and the next all of a sudden we just got hit with all this, all these wonderful opportunities, my dad and I. And, um, and we're so excited. And I think that part of that is because, you know, my dad's in addition to, to, you know, my own music and where I write the songs, my dad's, you know, just as much a part of, you know, the band and getting things accomplished. And, you know, he adds his own musical riffs to the back and everything and the accompaniment. It just makes all the difference. So I think that we're able to market ourselves for a whole different um, type of venue and series of things. Yeah, so. there's that nice father-daughter connection and it you know mm -hmm. has this and your music is just very storytelling and it's kind of a nice nostalgic feel so it makes sense that you have that kind of family feel to it Thank you. so it's really great um, and Thank maybe you. this is a selfish question for myself but to wrap it up I, I album are you gonna write one are you gonna hit the studio or are you, am I gonna be able to listen to you in my car someday oh <laughs> yes um, yeah I have enough material that I could write um, definitely a solid album uh, I have everything kind of all worked out. It's just a matter of actually getting to the studio and doing that. And that's always a challenge, you know, as a, as a college student and, you know, as someone who works full time and everything to actually get it accomplished. But, you know, as you're saying, things are kind of becoming more of a, there are more things going on in our, in our musical life. So there has been a much bigger drive to actually get that done. So that's going to be done probably within my goals the next six months um, to get a really nice polished. Yeah, well, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, ever since I first heard you at the Spire, I was like, who is this girl? And I'm so glad you could come on. Thank and you. And I'm glad you have the relationship here with PCN. And we're going to have you wrap up with another song. Um, again, thank you so much for coming mm -hmm. on the show. And um, tune in next time for a brand new PCN Life, live arts and entertainment segment. This song is called Millions. And it's uh, my newest one so far, so you ready? You can bet it's worth 
the dollars in gas for a drive to a no stop destination on the way to clear my mind when your thoughts are set on a cigarette and your fingers tapping time on the steering wheel to an old track take you back to a better time i'm always running out of patience i'm always running out of time i'm always running